Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Tara with Pieces of Tara Artistry. Thank you for joining me today. Um, today I'm kind of building on the video that you guys saw last week. Um, the video that I showed last week, it had just um, two basic flip cups on each side of the canvas with some negative space in the middle. And I wanted to do to do a Dutch pour in that center area, but my canvas was um, a little small for it. I had a 12 by 24 canvas, and I just felt like I didn't have enough room to do what I wanted to do on it. So I left the negative space as it was, but this time I am going to kind of follow through on my idea that I had. So this is a 12 by 36 canvas. I'm prepping the edges. Um, I do this twofold to make sure that uh, the canvas doesn't show through because it is very thin paints, as well as to um, make the edges tacky because again, it is thin paints and you want something to um, for the paint to be able to grab onto. So that was my, um, my mix for the paints that I'm putting in this, in these cups. So um, these paints are mixed, um, with just Floetrol and GAC 800, uh, the description box shows how I mix them, but they are all uh, mixed the same. I do refer to them as Dutch pour, pour over, and um, my puddle pour paint. So those are all ex mixed exactly the same. Now this is the satin enamel recipe. The recipe um, I'm using here is for white, the white pearl cells. Uh, and I do use, in this one I'm using the deco art because I had some already mixed up, uh, which satin enamel, which I don't normally use. I use the bare uh, satin enamels, but this actually turned out really good. So I was actually rethinking my ideas of the bare. So anyway, this, um, this is just the base paint that I'm putting on, on these two ends. And I did paint the the two ends, um, that bluish color, because even though I put the white base down, when I start tilting these bluish colors, I don't want a white canvas to sh show through. I want there to be like a bluish undertone um, into the edges. So that's why I painted them like the sky blue light by Amsterdam. So that's why I did that. Um, I am here gonna I'm gonna finish kind of spreading these two ends uh, of the satin enamel recipe down now the base coat on these two ends are the only uh, paints that have the satin enamel in them the rest do not have satin enamel that's super important so these flip cups the paints in them do not have any satin enamel it's just paint Floetrol and GAC 800 on these and so they'll start reacting. Um, I did use too much paint. I mean, I use five ounce cups and I fill them to the top, but I'm okay with it. You know, a lot of people say, oh, you waste a lot of paint, um, but I do actually collect all of my drips and I do reuse them in future pours. So if I'm using them for uh, a base paint, I will normally add just a little bit extra satin enamels because they are diluted down with the Floetrol and the GAC 800. And I'm, I, so I, I totally um, will add in some extras unless I have like a deco deck, oh, I can't talk today, deco art like 24 karat gold, something metallic like that, that is super reactive, then I don't add any extra. But, um, Normally, I'll just add a little bit of, of satin enamels to my drips. I will strain them. If you want to know how I strain my drips, go. Um, I will link the video. It'll be above as well as in the description box below. And so here I'm just stretching. And I, I normally don't stretch or I haven't been stretching the paints this much lately because my paints have been so reactive. It's been frustrating. But um, with this recipe, it actually was not super reactive. So I stretched and I got as much paint as I could off. 
of the canvas um, before I just let it settle. If I start seeing the pearls go wonky, I let it settle because I do not like wonky cells. Some people don't mind them. I personally don't like them. So this, this paint that I'm putting on now and blowing around has no satin enamel in it at all. That's why I kind of kept it separate. It is just an Amsterdam um, titanium white with the um, Floetrol and GAC 800. It's mixed exactly the same as the rest of these paints that I'm using. Um, and my Dutch pour paints basically are this are mixed all the same. Um, so I <clears throat> started off here in lines kind of away from the pearl cells because I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out. I was thinking maybe I do like three small like um, Dutch pour kind of lines, like a feathered Dutch pour. So I decided just to do start small and start away from the pearl cells because I really didn't want to disrupt those pearls um, that were happening in those flip cup areas. And so I did this, I blew out this Dutch pour area and I don't know, looking back on it, it doesn't look so bad. But when I first did it, I thought, oh, this just does not go. This does not go at all. Like it's too different of a technique. They look just, they don't, these two don't go together. So I thought, okay, well maybe what I'll do is I'll scrape them together and I'll do kind of a wider band and see how that goes. And again, I'm kind of staying away from those pearl cell areas just in case I need to scrape it. Because when you're working with like a Dutch pour over a pearl cell, the scraping is not an option because you would have to like literally scrape the whole thing, start over with the satin enamel base coat and do all that. And I, I just did not, I didn't want to do that. So I was kind of steering clear of the Dutch or the uh, pearl cell areas that I did already. Now this, it wasn't, I think I just kept thinking like, well, maybe if I get a, a little bit closer, kind of make that n that negative white space a little smaller maybe it'll like start melding together and looking more cohesive but <laughs> just the more I stared at it the more uncohesive it looked to me so then I decided to get rid of that that white negative space and I thought well if I if I um you know, blow into the pearl cell area, that's okay. You know, it won't totally overtake my middle section Dutch pour, which sometimes that's what happens is when you will Dutch pour over a pearl cell, those pearl cells start really popping up and it kind of eats up all of your Dutch pour paint. I didn't really want that for this one. So then I decided, okay, I would get rid of that negative white space and see what happened. And I actually really... I really like how it turned out. Um, I know you can't really tell very well where it is right now, but um, it actually turned out pretty good. Um, in a second, it'll kind of move it over. I will show you the wet and the dry results here. Um, but I, I think that once you see it in the dry results, I mean, it definitely has kind of a beachy vibe, <laughs> but... I mean, a lot of the stuff that I do has a beachy vibe. So, I mean, that's not uncommon. And I just think, okay, well, maybe that's my thing. I love a beach scene. I love the beach colors. And so, yeah, look, look at these. These cells are really amazing. These pearl cells turned out really good. Um, that center section, look at how beautiful those colors turned out. Um, I love how vibrant it is in the middle without the pearl cell recipe underneath of it. So I do like the difference between those pearls on the ends and then the vibrancy of the middle. I think it turned out really, really pretty. So um, I'm gonna show you here now the drivers. It dried beautifully, um, almost exactly like you saw it there. Um, it's it, that um, one thing I'm just, I don't know, the, the gold, I'm not a super fan of it dried there next to 
the knock knockoff. I don't know if it made the knockoff too orange because I just love like the salmon color of that knockoff. And it kind of, I think it blended a little bit with it. It's fine and I like it. It's pretty. Um, but I, I kind of wish that I had stayed away from the gold and just put the knockout in the, in that, um, middle section. So there it is on my wall, my studio wall. Here it is on the art room app. Let me know what you guys think. If you like what you're seeing, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified each time I put out a new painting, um, a new video. If you'd like to um, purchase or commission, please contact me. Uh, check me out on, so out on social media. And um, I think that's it. I do do um, private classes. Uh, email if you're, me if you're interested. And I guess that's all for now, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.